<laughs> I like going to my dad's factory. It You sit, see so many really cool things on the way and it's really freaky when you actually get to there. It's all, all echoey and... Ooh. I travel often in three dimensions, in the physical, the mental, and the spiritual. And one way I do that is often at break time and lunch times when I rush out from my room to the front of the school and have my quick ziggy. It's a way for me to be in touch with nature, to think about the past, to think about the present, to think about the future, to get my thoughts together with the children, what they've said to me and what I'm going to say to them and to think about my position in not just in the school but in the whole physical and spiritual world in general. My journey is about going to Chilwall Road where this wall is. It's supposedly cursed by a man who captured these two sacred white horses. I love going up there because you've got all the trees and the colours and the green and thinking about what it would be like. On the 79 I'm usually with mates from school but they all live locally so they get off and as I'm soon left on the bus on my own. And then when I get in the 26, I'll see people who live by mine and then we'll just start talking and I'll start talking to them. It was about going to school every day on the 79 bus journey with my good friend Tom. We used to meet up every day at the ballads outside my close. And we used to have to go through this entry, really dirty entry. Um, loads of rubbish and um, worst smells you could think of in that. And, um, when we eventually got on the bus, we couldn't get a seat because everyone would be sitting down. We'd have to stand at the front and um, everyone staring at you. It would be very uncomfortable. When we eventually did come off, it would be like a stampede running down the bus. So that was horrible. And um, when we eventually did get into school, we'd end up being late. I, I start off at the Rose Pub as I'm waiting for a Santa to come. And it's, normally, it's only a hot sunny day when it goes to visit my nan and granddad's. And I go past all the famous landmarks like um, the old lock up and Picton Clock and Smithfield and King David's. Lots of people on the bus normally, normally packed, normally people laughing and joking and catching up on those times. And past the TA, I just get off there. I'm walking down the streets with my nanny granddad's and there's all fresh cut grass, grass and flowers and lovely. To me, granddad was in the army. I still come up with he wants me to join as well, but I'm not too sure about it. If you just go to the army, probably get killed. Killed in a rack by friendly fire or could by an Iraqi ambush or something, so I just don't want to die. My journey is about my nan's funeral. Um, she was the mother of my father, and I loved her very much. Uh, I've wrote about my journey to the crematorium and then the journey to the party afterwards. The first thing was the, the emotions that went through me. Um, all my family around me feeling the same emotions of the sadness and wanting to know that my nan was okay, where she was. And all family and friends gathered to share those feelings with me. My parents left it too late to leave Germany. They couldn't get any visas. We were taken to Frankfurt by my parents and were put on a train with just children on it. We left our parents, we thought we would see them again in a few months, a few weeks, a few months, and we didn't know where we were going, who was going to meet us or anything. So that's how I arrived in England. We decided to go to Germany for a couple of days to look up the place where we came from, because I said I would never go back to Germany, ever. I didn't want to talk to old people. When I saw older people, I used to think, you know, what did you do? Did you know about 